Remember that time I actually said I was going to explain this trip? Yeah, I better do that. Oh, 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 charts! You see, this is what, one of the first things you actually learn in basic or in basic navigation training or net your navs is learn how to read these. Oh, these are what they uh, world aeronautical charts. These are the, your basic navigation things. And now you're thinking, hang on, why are you talking about charts? You're supposed to tell me thing about the trip. Tell me about the trip. Tell me about the trip. It's something making easy lane content. I get that. The, I'm getting to that. Give me a sec. I know I'm in to embarrass that you literally are facing the floor <laughs> and being acting like dang pods but copying your style, but worse. But I think it's about time we explain the route. But these, but hang on, I only got three. I only got three charts. Um, this is Oz Runways. And I should also quickly, well, they're all well in talking about them. I want to thank them. I actually want to thank them for sponsoring for this trip. They have, I've been using this for years, but this is not an official shout out or anything, but they are a supporter of, they are a supporter of the sort of navigation. So, let's get talking about the route, shall we? So, question one, how long this trip will take? We're, for me personally, estimating two and a half months. Second question, how many stops will be? We're thinking roughly about 38. Because there's so like, because we're secondly flying around Australia. Three, oh sorry, actually no, four. How come here and here, both Alice Springs and Broome, they they could draw that space. That's Howard. Why can I fly in them? Well, the answer is they actually are they actually control towers at certain times. So in, in the early morning and evening, when there's a little bit of time, there's a little window for me to get me myself in. So let's go over the route, shall we? This next Friday, so the 8th of September, which is actually the day that, ironically, is the very day that Ryan Campbell finished his solid navigation around the world about nine years ago. Day one is a huge one. Morat flying state to Kaguna to Nellabor. And that's about... How many that's and that's about five hours worth of that's five hours worth of flight. Day two. Or well, should I say leg two. Nullabore to Kaguna. Just a little nice little strip, relaxing fight. Leg three to Juno to Wyala. And then that's where I have my first event. I'm gonna be because oh, did I mention before? There's gonna be speaking to it in this. I'll be coming, uh, so the events are, are sorted out. The old, oh, the old gang finalized, so that sort of stuff. Lake five, while to Port Augusta, just a little nice little simple flight. And then for Port Augusta to my grandparents' shoot station, and then to spend time there for a week, that's gonna be my first designated rest flight. There's about, no, oh, there's three, no, there's four designated rest stops along the way where I spend more, I have a few days off. And then the next leg from Glenmore Estate, this is my, this is my, from my sheep, my grandparents' cattle station, sorry, correction, sheep station, onto Broken Hill. And then on down, next leg will be down to we're heading down to, I'll well, head down to Majura 
And then there's a little speech, I can't remember which town I'm in, I had to sort it out. Where if you were talking them all, and I head up all the way out to Parks, and then on to Whaler, Dubbo, which is gonna be our first 25, uh, 25 hourly stop. So we got a bit, because there's gonna be about 80 hours worth of flying in this. I got eight, oh, 82,000 order. 80,000? <laughs> no, that would be too far. Eight nautical, uh, 8,000 nautical miles. And then uh, on to Mori, all the way out to Bundaberg, and all the, then a big, another, uh, uh, Bundaberg. Now Bundaberg is where the Javaroo factory is. Javaroo has also kindly sponsored this trip. They're gonna help up, they help up, having a massive help on in terms of servicing that sort of stuff. And then the next leg is another big one. Another big one. Bundaberg to Longreach with a refuel and then stop in Emerald. Then on the way to Concurry, which where the Royal Flight Service and Qantas are actually born. They say hey, that Qantas was born in Concurry, matured in Longreach. Then onto Mount Isa, all the way down to Tennant Creek, follow the highway down to uh, Springs. There's going now. Alice Springs Tower is shut at five o'clock local time, so that's how I managed to get in, and I'll be waiting at a nearby airfield until that tower closes. And all the way back up to Tennant Creek, to Daly Waters, rest of Cardinara, uh, uh, Cardinara, all the way down to Fitzroy Crossing. And meet up with and stay over at a cattle station. That's I meant my mentor who used to be a former ANSAT pilot. Was I used to be for my former ANSAT pilot? Sorry, I former ANSAT pilot. Uh, ANSAT Australia, remember them people? ANSAT Australia people. There's an ANSAT oh, pilot base. And then we head up up to Broome. Again, before the tower opens, this will be most likely an early morning flight. Follow the coast all the way down of Zoe Way, and a lot of track along the Perth coast, down to Mountain Up and Albany, and then back home in mid-November. This trip seems like very expensive, and it actually is. But this is real good training. You don't normally do these kinds of trips at all. Just a quick rundown of the route. Just break it down in video format. So, thanks for coming out, fly high, and I'll, and supportly, stay safe. See you in the next one.